Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for May 29th, 2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 20. And if you add the 2 and the 0 together, you get a pure 2. Now, the number 2 is the number of negative mind or critical mind. And so it's where you allow your mind to do worst case scenario. And like the sky is falling and you feel like chicken little a little bit. And so <laughs> notice where your brain does not want to see anything except the negativity. And as the negativity grows in the world at the moment and on today, more people will become fed up with a multitude of injustices and know that things are going to continue to escalate. I wish it were not so, but when governments do not listen or care about the people, there are few options left open to them to be heard. Do your best to stay calm and take the steps necessary for balance in your life. But know that those that have no food, no job, and those that are being pushed out of homes will fall into hopelessness. When humanity has nothing left to lose, they will react and lash back at those that they believe are harming them. Suffering needs to be heard and appropriately responded to. Lashing out to those hurting only escalates the violence in an already violent world. While I expect it to happen no matter what you personally do, I do not have you do not have to put your energy into that drama. Do your best to learn to listen to those in your life that you love. Learn to listen to the hurt, the harm, and the pain of others. If we do not learn to listen, then this world will continue to spiral out of control. The astrology today. Uh, Thursday afternoon and evening, the exhaustion starts to set in. By Friday morning, you will really be feeling it. But by late afternoon, your energy should start to kind of pick back up again. So, it, you know, it's like the afternoon is going to really drag. The first part of the evening is going to really drag. And then, you know, it's actually going to kind of pick up again. Um, the moon drops into Virgo and it makes us feel really like we need to pay attention to all the details that desperately need to be done um, to have successes later this year. And I know that you're tired, but get up, swig down some ginseng tea and put your gloves on and go out there and do those last pieces that are essential for your project. Because then after that, you will be able to relax. Fulfilling duties that you promised makes you feel very accomplished. The moon sextiles Mercury, allowing your judgment to be on more solid ground and your communication style to be inclusive and practical. Allow that more open mindset to free you out of the global constriction that everyone is feeling. <coughs> Sorry, little cough. The moon trines Uranus in Taurus. Um, two Earth energies that help you look for new ways and new methods. What is clear is that the old ways are not working. And that people, you know, need to be heard and not listening is not only wrong, but at this point, it's also very dangerous. We are at this moment in a half moon cycle, and this creates more difficulties and disagreements. Keep emotionally distant from drama that is not yours. Be protective of yourself and your family. The negativity is reaching new heights and is skewing minds and twisting hearts. The feelings of restriction are overwhelming. Remember that your actions impact more than just yourself or your family. Okay, the quote for today. You cannot allow those that are the most wounded to decide your fate. Those that hate care not for anything that you feel. They can only feel the pain in their own soul that wants to hurt others the way that they have been hurt. All right, so the news, of course, is just abominable. <laughs> I try not to watch it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's like I just I glance at it, you know, on, on the internet, on CNN or one of the news stations, and then I just like, well, okay. Um, I feel so much compassion for those suffering right now. Um, and yes, the news is oblivious about some of it. Um, but so many things are really hurting in this world that you're not hearing about. Um, violence can escalate at any moment. People can just be in the wrong place at the wrong time and get caught up in someone else's unresolved issues. And that's why 
it's really important right now to kind of pay attention to the moods and the cycles that are happening. Many years ago, um, when I lived in Berlin, we were having um, what they called the squatters riots. And um, I got caught in a, a protest that quickly escalated to violence just because the ballet company was leaving to go on tour and I had to go to the bank to get money and traveler's checks. And of course, the bank was on the corner where the speakers for the squatters were stationed and talking. And in case people don't know what this is, you know, that the squatters riots were a period of time, you know, which was uh, between 1978 and the 1980s, where um, there was not enough housing for the population. There was an influx of Turkish men that came to Germany after World War II to help rebuild because there were jobs. Um, they then brought their families, and the Germans had already been invaded twice out of total fairness to them, and they were struggling themselves. So the added pressure of people with different beliefs, cultures, and language just reminded them that they were still occupied by the Allied forces. The Germans kept refusing to let workers from foreign countries get housing because there really was so little available. It happened even even to me. I mean, I lived in a nunnery with the nuns for five months because I could not get an apartment. So even though I was a ballet dancer and Caucasian and, you know, with a very German name, Susanna Wagner, I mean, how much more German can you be? No one wanted a foreigner or me in their building. I finally got an apartment, but it was only because an old man had died in the apartment and the ex-wife wanted to get rid of anything. So anyway, back to the riot on the street. <laughs> so I was walking to the theater, from the theater to the bank. It was only about three blocks, not very far. But I noticed that there were a lot of people that had blocked the street and the police paddy wagons were lined up on the sides of the streets. Now in Germany, the police do not have guns, but they have clubs. Yes they beat you unconscious and throw you into the wagons and take you off to prison. If you are there, you are considered guilty. You don't say to the police officer, oh, Mr. Officer, I'm sorry, I'm just a ballet dancer. I'm not one of them. So I am trying myself just to get to the bank. I am one block away when the tear gas canister popped into the center of the crowd and screams started and everyone started running away from the gas. Some started running towards me and the police were hot on their heels. So you don't try to explain again that you just run, you know, you just have to run. And I tried to slip into the subway system, but they had blockaded it and we could not get in. And I ran and ran and the police following and beating people and dragging them away. And I managed to get away and I did this huge loop that took an hour of walking and made it back to the bank. Um, the bank had locked the people inside the building to protect them. But when they saw me, because they knew me, they unlocked the door and I managed to get in. And I learned in that moment that adrenaline has no reasoning. All people can get caught up in those moments and your primal instincts take over. You are not rational. You are reactive. And even the police go into aggressive modes of conduct. It is human nature. Humanity has a violent streak. And under the right circumstances, it will come up. That is why education is so important. Without education that shows you options of behavior and how to navigate difficult situations, this world will just endlessly repeat the patterns of war, destruction, and rebuilding. We are in a pinnacle moment where we cannot allow those without conscience or those with an unbalanced mind what has taken thousands of years for mankind to create. We just can't allow them to destroy that. So what are you going to do? You're going to have to stand up and you're going to have to say something. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.